Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the TP-Link Gaming Pre-Insomnia 52 Cup. Brought to you by Multiplayer. My name is, of course, Alex Gooch. I am joined by none other than Silverback for all of the Call of Duty action this afternoon. How are you doing, Silverback? Yeah, not too bad, buddy. Looking forward to this with all the fight taking on the team. Uh, just so we get it correct, so you know who we're watching and who you're watching. Uh, there was a bit of a confusion with the brackets, take no notice of them. This is Prospect Rise versus Orbit Defy. Currently looking at his 5 and 7, it's going to be pretty much even, I'm going to say, until somebody manages to take that, that middle control of this map. It's all about that and the three-story red. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you want that aerial advantage from three-story red. You want to be able to have that two-cap locked in, which... Somebody has already got there. Also losing C, so it's looking like a heavy push early on. And Pegasus is going to have to go back for that, but he's been shut down by Tom. So I'm going to get on board with Luke from uh, Prospect Rise here, as he's going to try and get himself some points on the board by securing the C flag. Looks like he is going to get that uncontested, but does drop down as soon as he does manage to cap that. Oh, that was a great right. pick there. That was an absolute awesome pick from Gabriel. Managed to take a two-piece. Prospect Tom now pushing uh, forward. He's going to go for neutralization of A. Looking on the mini-map, there's a possibility of two coming in. He does get picked off. It's Greeny that does the work there. Dropping back, which means we're going to go on board with him. It's currently four and one. Top place coming from him. All of Orbit, though, Gooch, are currently sitting on a one-cap each. All four members really doing their worth right now as we're on board with Pegasus. Gets a nice little drop shot. He's just holding it. See, taking the both home flags. For me, this is a really difficult scenario because the spawn on B can either, as you see, they're going to lose A, either affect that A or C and will give them two flags back. You're better off taking either A and B or B and C. Well, that's exactly what this Orbit Defy team have done now. I mean, they've waited for the uh, prospect rise roster just to push over towards that A flag. They left B a little bit and then they just capitalised by jumping straight onto that. Still on board with Pegasus now. So he's running a bit of aerial advantage. What a shot there. Must have always been weak from that. That M side just ripped him into pieces. But Pegasus doing absolute work now right in the face of this prospect rise roster. Yeah, he's on a five-point streak, six, four, and one. He's literally waiting. He's being a menace, and this is what you have to do, I think, on this side. You've got to take the kill. It's a little bit rainy, but cleans him up as his teammate Darrell gets one as well. He's going to go for neutralization. Someone spawned into his left. He has to be careful. Is he going to get the turn on him? No, he doesn't. It's Tom from behind that's going to clean that up. But it's okay. Jenkins uh, picks it up. He goes for the second. He goes down, which means we go on board with Addo. No, we don't. It's going to be Luke who's going to try and gain that back for these teams. Yep, on board with this Prospect Rise roster now as he's pushing up this right-hand side. He's managed to get control of that A flag back, currently down by 11 points. So not the end of the world. Turn on there from Luke. That was good play from him as he picks off Pegasus. He's going to push him towards this middle of the map. Knows another player around him somewhere. He's managed to take him down as well. Currently on a four-score streak. Make that five now as he is ripping into shreds. As soon as this guy gets on the stream, he has just gone off. Currently six and seven, but I'm sure... All six of those kills have come directly on this stream now. That's good play from Luke there as he eventually does get shut down. Yeah, let's have a look with Addo. He's currently 7 and 6. One of the two players, I mean, look at Tom. He's 8 and 6. Slain wise, not many kills on that ball. They're just taking the picks. They're losing C, taking B right now. They're going to be putting the same scenario as they were before. Holding the A and B flags. He's going to hold left hand side as he goes down. So we're going to go back on board with Luke. Can he do some work? No, he doesn't as Greeny takes him down. It's going to be back on board with Tom. He knows they've got to take capture this three on there. If he goes there, he gets one. He goes down and do will again. Him, taking a beautiful two piece. Let's run him with Dereal. He's coming on a four streak right now, Gage. Yep, Dereal currently on that four streak, 12 and 9. He's got three caps to his name, doing big work for this Orbit Defy roster here in the first round of the pre Insomnia 52 Cup. Of course, the, uh, the winning team from today will get themselves free entry into I 52, which is at the end of August. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a nice prize pool at the moment sitting at around £4,000, I believe, and you get a nicer ticket to uh, a, a, a special guest, I understand, um, with a DJ set, which is which is a nice little teaser as well on its own. Yeah, exactly so. And on board with Pegasus now, only 20 seconds left on this side, just nading that C flag just to make sure no one's around there. doesn't appear that there is. I mean, we're going to be going in at the half here with a pretty hefty lead. Looks like it's going to be around the 30-point mark. Um, which is a great start and puts you in a great position for that second side. 
it, 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 when we're looking at 30 points, we're going to be bang on. It's not going to tick over again. There we go. We're looking at that right now. It's 31 point lead. That, that's on this map. That's relatively a, a big margin. You know, you can see a team do it. When you think, if you take uh, all three flags for four minutes, that's 36. I'm yet to see a team actually do that on a competitive level for me. Um, but there's a lot of work to be done right now if they want to bring this one right back. Let's get these sides switched over. Stay on board with Pegasus there. I mean, we saw him close out that first round, so let's stick on board with him. It looks as if he's just going to run straight through that A flag. Of course, they know they need to be getting on that B flag very early on. They need a two cap to be able to get themselves in a solid position. An early stun's gone down. Three shots on as well. Not going to be enough. Yes, it is. He gets himself the assist. Make sure nobody's coming out of that three story on his right hand side. Nobody's there. Going to be somebody else on that left hand side. Nate goes over, assist again for Pegasus, and he looks if he is going to be able to secure this B flag if he just sits tight here. Going to have some cover, but incoming Nade from Ross. Has that flag been captured? No, not as of yet. Addo, who is on board now, pushing over. B flag still neutral. That was four assists he got in that row and no matter how hard they pushed, this team just could not take B. Every time they jumped on it, took one or two kills. Again, all that came back, taking it play. Prospect Ross taking a great pick there. The commander, nice and easy, gets tagged up, but takes someone up, gets a nade kill there on Greeny. That was a perfectly played nade, he retreated, he knew what he was going to do. There's a one player to his left hand side, we see the local mate, he takes one out, but it's his teammate that cleans it up. There's literally one right in front of him, he gets picked up, and Greeny with a two piece. So we're going to go on board with Tom as he spawns back in and Luke there. They just don't seem to have this now. They've got to hold this B and see Domo and take the mid-map control. Maybe Addo's looking to go crates so you see on your screen. Um, Tom, really, 12 and 16 at the moment um, with that one capture. Really, Luke and Addo doing the work here from these guys from Prospect. Yeah, I mean, they are getting back into this slowly but surely. They've got the two cap, but now they're losing C. They need to be pushing on for A. Looks as if Tom and Addo are pushing on heavy. See the player sat in the corner. Did manage to take him down, though. Tom just providing a little bit more of a supporting role rather than getting that capture quicker, just making sure that he can get that cut off for anybody that could spoil around. Looks as if they are going to regain that two cap now. They're taking C as well. Looks as if they go for that three cap, but the real shutting down Ross. And Tom's going to push on heavy, but Tom left last alive for this prospect roster. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, he's got, he's got to be careful here. He's going to pick one. He's going to prime position oh. this two. That is, what you, that is what Owen's middle floor is all about. It's been a nuisance, taking off the big one. And that was some great work as he ends that streak there. As we will go on board with his teammate, Prospect Ross, as he goes down, which means we're going to support on the field right now. Yep, the real there, just guaranteeing that B flag is in his possession yet again, currently 125 to 98. So that deficit has been clawed back a little bit, but only by four points in a matter of two and a half minutes. That's not going to be enough for Prospect Rise to get themselves back into this unless they can pull out all the stops right here. Yeah, just looking at Green right now, he's sitting on this top leg, picks off two kills, that's a great play. This is such an advantage point, using this 3-3 this rig. As he sees a player on his right side, he gets taken out, Addo cleans him off there, and that's what Prospect need to do. They need to gain that advantage back and hold that side. All that now holding C and B as he picks down this, and the second comes in, Luke takes the kill, so we're going to go on board again with Windy Pegasus. And let's let so there's one, two, is he going to take it? Yes, he does, doing the work that is required of him to gain, carry on gaining points from that B-Dom but it's Tom that gets the drop on him and it, at the moment it's DeFroy that's coming in with the slaying power 22 and 19, 24 and 20 that is what's winning these and you know they just need to make sure every time they lose this point they gain it back it's a possibility of a triple right now yeah but with uh, 30 point lead I mean with a minute and a half left it's just not going to be enough at all I don't think prospect rise it looks as if it's going to go in favour of Orbit Defy. I mean, of course, the first round here is best of three, all the way up to the quarterfinals. Yep. So we are going to be seeing best of three. It's going to be Domination Freight. That's, of course, the first map. S and D on Sovereign is next up. Blitz Warhawk, should it go all the way? Yeah, looking forward to SND next. If this is something to go by, these guys really going to go. And a minute left, looking at the score, it is now down to 30 points. It is a possibility, a slim one, Nine impossible. If he picks up his kill, that's a bit wavy, ain't there, from Luke? He literally, he, he come in, uh, shot top middle way in. He's going to get picked off by Jake. It, to me, it's game over now. No matter what they do, they're not going to get this one back. 
Yeah, I feel a little bit sorry for Luke there. I mean, he's got himself six caps to his name, 28 kills as well. So he's played really well for the team, but unfortunately, the rest of the team just lagging behind him a little bit. But all of Orbit playing uh, consistent across the board there. So I think that's, to be honest, why we've seen them come out so convincing is purely based on the fact that they've played together as a team. No specific standout player there. I mean, Greeny and the real both top of the board on the kills. What the the two players at the bottom, Texas, yeah. Pegasus and Jakey, still holding their own as well. Look at look at Addo though here from Prospect. Eight captures. Eight captures. That's some big objective play from him. Luke's sitting just below him on six. But when you look at the standard that the guys from Orbit were, right, they're five, five, six and four. I mean that's twenty from them. That, that, that's a nice, nice place to be. They knew what they had to do. They came in and stepped up. SND is going to be something to watch out for in Sovereign. Guys, do not go anywhere. We will be back after this short break with some more live esports action.